The Adventures of an Aluminum Can, a story about recycling. This book was written by Allison Inches and illustrated by Mark Chambers. Dear Diary, I used to live under the earth in a layer of backside rock, but not anymore. Today, I woke up to the rumble and roar of gigantic bulldozers. The bulldozers got rid of all the trees, grass, dirt, and rocks from the ground above me. Then, kaboom! A huge dynamite blast blew up my home and me along with it. The rock where I lived was crushed into small pieces and loaded into railroad cars. Now we're on our way to the processing plant. I'll miss it here, but I'm excited to see where they're taking me. Hi, diary. Another doozy of a day. I got crushed and ground into a fine powder. After a bath, I took a boat ride to a refinery. I like seeing and doing new things. Traveling is fun. Here at the refinery, the machines hum, whir, and buzz all day. First, the workers mixed me with chemicals. I felt fizzy inside and out. Then I turned into a mushy paste. After a steam bath and a super hot oven dry, I became a beautiful white powder called aluminum oxide. Hello, diary. Today, I had a chemical bath in a gigantic bathtub. They zapped me with electricity and I turned red hot. Then, they pumped me into a mold. When I came out, I was a long rectangular sheet of aluminum. Now, I'm rolled up like a sleeping bag and I feel neat, tidy, and ready to go. P.S. Diary, did you know aluminum is used to make bicycle frames, chewing gum wrappers, and even airplanes? Hats off, Diary. I got my top today. That's like a hat for a can. It's made from a sheet of aluminum that gets fed through a press that stamps out thousands of tops every minute. But first... I was stretched into the shape of a can and trimmed to just the right size. After I was tested to make sure I had no holes, I was filled with delicious fruit. And then it happened, something I had never expected. I got a brand new label. Ta-da, diary. I'm going to show off my new look now. Hi, diary. This past month, at the manufacturing plant and the fruit cannery sure has been a lot of fun. Dressed in my fancy new label, I was put in a box with five other cans of fruit. We were put in a truck and driven to a grocery store. I wasn't on the store shelf for long before a nice lady scooped me up. To the park, I saw the greenest trees and the bluest sky I'd ever seen. Best of all, I saw my first baseball game. Girl with braids hit a home run and won the game. It was so exciting. When the game was over, the girl chose me and celebrated as she ate the fruit. She said I was the best can of fruit ever. I love being an aluminum can. Hello, diary. The girl with braids took me home. She rinsed me out with water and put the game-winning baseball on top of me. I became a trophy on the girl's bookshelf. It was really fun until the ants came along and tickled me. The little girl's mom didn't like the ants either, so she put me in the recycling bin. Being a trophy was fun, but I was glad to get away from the ants. Hmm. I wonder what's in store for me now. Yeehaw, diary. I'm on the move again. 
I was taken to a sorting plant where I was separated from the glass and plastic and then squashed into a bale with other aluminum cans. Then our bale was taken to the aluminum recycling plant where we were cleaned, shredded, melted, and recast. This time, I'm an aluminum too. Hold on to your pages, diary. I've got big news. Today, I got shipped to a baseball bat factory. I got made into a brand new aluminum bat. Here's what happened. They squeezed me through a mold and spun me round and round. I got really dizzy, but all that spinning gave me a perfect shape. Then I got a hot, salty bath and a heat treatment. After that, my ends were closed. No more peeking inside me. Later in the day, a knob and non-skid wrapping were added to my handle. Now I won't slip out of a baseball player's hands. My favorite part of the day was when they shined me up and printed fun pictures and letters on my sides. I'm going to be the best bat ever. Big news diary. After I was packed, I was shipped to a sporting goods store. I stood straight and tall so everyone could see me. That afternoon, a boy named Robbie spotted me on the shelf. He turned me over and smiled. This is the one, he whispered. I felt so proud. Tomorrow, I'll be playing in my first baseball game. And guess what? It's a championship game. I'm going to try my best to make Robbie proud. Home run diary. What a day. Bases were loaded and Robbie and I were at bat. He whispered, let's do it. Then, ping, Robbie got the winning hit. Fans jumped out of their seats and cheered. After Robbie rounded the bases, he picked me up and held me close. Now the fans were cheering for both of us. I hope I don't get recycled for a long time. <laughs>